On December 14, 2017, the fair and open internet as we know it was laid to rest. Ebenezer Pye smirked as he declared net neutrality an unnecessary rule and left internet users everywhere at the mercy of service providers who can now control who gets what internet content and at what speed. The ghost of internet past visited Ebenezer Pie before this vote, appearing as an enthusiastic creator. The ghost hauntingly asked him, Don't you remember how wide the web once was? How easily any curious and excited entrepreneur could share their content with the world, knowing that it could be accessed as easily as any other site. The ghost then showed him how well the internet functioned when everyone had an equal shot at accessing and enjoying the web, and how happy users were when they could visit all the sites they liked at the same fast speeds. Then the ghost of internet present visited Ebenezer Pie, appearing to him in the shape of an industry lobbyist. This ghost whispered, Thanks for the help, Pie. Consumers will be fine, I promise. They'll hardly even notice as their favorite websites creep slower and slower. Besides, we have pre-selected sites they can enjoy at maximum speed. They'll get used to it. Our favorite sites will become their favorite sites, not that they have much of a choice. The ghost chuckled as he watched Ebenezer Pie cast his deciding vote to strike down net neutrality. But the ghost of internet future is the most powerful, and it has yet to give up on the open internet. That future is us. All of us. Every person who uses, fights for, and demands a better internet. It is everyone who has been infuriated by the FCC's blatant disregard for the millions of people who wrote to them and told them to uphold net neutrality. It is the creators, the dreamers, the determined, and those who fight for the public interest every day. The internet of the future will be open. We won't stop fighting until it is.